This conference will now be recorded. See, PRPC provides some set of functions which we can access by using expression builder. All the functions will be there in the libraries. These are libraries. Okay. If you don't know the library in which library, which functions are there, when you have idea about function name, you can search here. Okay, all the function names will be meaningful. You need not to know about every function. Whenever you need a, you have a requirement, you can just learn about that function. We will be learning about some of the functions. Look at here. See, suppose you want some function which is going to return some date and time. You can go to the date time library. You see the functions here. See. I will show you the names of the function looking at the name of the function. I know that you don't have any knowledge. It doesn't deal with Pega. It doesn't deal with technology. It deals with only common sense. One person's common sense. So if you look at the function name, not every function, some of the functions. So you should be able to understand what is the purpose of that function and all. Okay. So I will show you few function names looking at the function names even though you don't know anything you should be able to explain okay i will show you some of the functions names look at here and tell me about the function name function purpose okay look at here you take this simple function what does this function do if you want to learn about this function, if you mouse over, it will show you. Okay. So mouse over, it will give you idea. But you tell me, looking at the name of the function, what does it do? It compare two strings. It is going to compare, compare two. two numeric values. They have given wrong there below numeric. It is related to math, mathematical, numeric numbers. It is going to check the equality a is equal to b something one is equal to two one number is equal to another number or not it will verify okay you tell me about this sqrt yes, meaning that square root what does this function do it will calculate the square root of a number if you give a number it is going to calculate its square root and give you the result generally you need to write the logic for the square root calculation right but that is already there and provide it to you by a function name. Let me show you another library. Okay, I am going to go into date time. So here you go with this one. Compare dates by days. Compare dates by days. Someone please tell me what does this function do? Outline only you have to tell me. If you understand that sentence or function name, you will be able to explain. Compare dates by days. What does that mean? It will give the difference between dates in uh, days. So you give two dates. It will compare the two dates by difference in dates. Something like that. Okay, I will show you another function name. You tell me that. Get current date stamp. Get current date stamp there is a function called get current date you can ignore about stamp if you don't understand get current date stamp what does this this what is the written value of this function today's date it will give today's, today's date, date of the server today's date from the server current time stamp means what it will give get current yeah. time stamp yes it will give the date and time it will give what it will give date along with time stamp also it will give okay date means only date will be given you see this this function name you should be able to tell me is date in the past you see the function name is date in the past what does this function will do you you use this function when you will when when you are going to use this function is date in the past means whether date is in the past or not it will give the given the given date is in past or not past means yesterday or before that 
it will return either true or false. If you return either true or false, if it is in the past, if, if it is in the past, it will return true, else it will return false. Okay. So now I will show you another function name. Okay. See, this is the name of the function. What is the name of the function? py remove duplicates from page list. There is a function by name py remove, remove duplicates from page list. You need not to tell me about the parameters. You need to tell me overall picture of this function. What does this function do? It will remove the duplicate pages from the page list. It will remove the duplicates from a given page list. See, look at here. I have a page list states in that I have states of one, two, three, four, like this. In each one, I have state code. And what is the next one? State name. Okay, state code, state names are there. I'm sorry. Okay, so here state code is equal to AL So you are getting results like this. This is asking and when you populate in the drop down, you are seeing same state twice. This is asking you should not see that. So what you will do? You apply a function on this py remove duplicates. So what will be removed here? py remove duplicates. One and three will be removed. One, three both will be removed. Huh? No, one will be removed. Uh -huh. Duplicate will be removed. Finally, one occurrence. See, when you wanted to remove the duplicate, how process commander knows which one is duplicate? You have to tell that. The function will take the parameters. See, what is the page list that you want to look for? Look at. And what is the property, exact property, based on which you wanted to perform a search? PY remove duplicates. So, you are going to remove the duplicates from one page list and give it in the another page list, two page list. So one page list is a source one, another one is target one. Take the source one, remove duplicates and add it into target. So which property based on which property process commander should check for duplicates, you will tell the process commander state code. So state code matching anywhere remove duplicates will be removed. Make sense everyone? Clear? So I will show you another function name. Okay. Let me type page list so that I'll get many functions. To tell me this, count in page list. Suppose you have a function, you can read here. Count in page list, look at the parameters, some string look for, string look at, clipboard property to look at. Okay. Chapandi, what is this count in page list to do? It will give the count of the string, specific string, whatever we pass to the yes. Input. See, AL, how many times AL has come in how many pages in the given page list? If I mention that, so in my page list, how many times we have AL? Two times. Two times. So, what yeah. is the result? Two will Two. be the result. So, one specific, suppose you are fetching from a class, you are fetching list of students, you have fetched into page list. So this is asking, we wanted to know how many people with name Ramesh are there in this class. So you run this function, then you will get to know the same. So, okay, look at here. This is counted page list when means given a condition satisfied. That is not needed. So you tell me this. Um, is in page list. Looking at this, you should be able to tell me. Is in page list. Very easy. Is in page. The value list. present is the value present in the page. Given value of a given property 
is present in the page list or not correct that is what is in page list so you should be able to tell me this length of page list page list length equal huh? to give the length of the uh, page list input uh, whatever we have given what is the length of the page list states one two three four 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 is the length of page list okay that's what that's all so similarly let me show you another function px remove empty pages from page list you need to mention one of the property that you want state code is equal to blank i wanted to remove then what you so suppose okay let's say for example you have fetched n number of students into a page list thousand students you have fetched, fetched into a page list where you wanted to remove by email id is equal to blank out of n number of students that you have fetched some student doesn't have email id you wanted to filter out those students means remove from the uh, results those who do not as uh, have any email id then what you will use px remove empty pages from the page list of a specified property for a specific value value is blank okay so now you tell me this this one you should be able to tell me px sort page list what does this mean it will sort the results it will sort the pages of the page list order will be changed how it will sort in my page list i have n number of properties right based on what you wanted to sort you have to tell that i want to sort it based on state code asc ascending order or dsc descending order something like that so then it will be sorted see most of the functions when you look at the function name and mouse over onto the function name you should be able to easily understand about the purpose of the function it is very easy okay it's not so difficult but some functions you will not be able to understand for sure but mostly you will use the functions related to page list related in your application development and some other functions which we are going to use today and as we go on with our classes many times we will be using functions okay starting from today so what is the purpose of a function a function is a predefined logic which is ready made available for us with a name instead of you writing the logic you use the function call the function by its name which will and pass the parameters to it it will return the value so this is about functions in pega we will be using one of the function as per our requirement now 